Okay, so we're up at Appleby Golf Club. We've got some new wedges to test out on the golf course and we're going to put them through the paces. So the new Mizuno T22 launch, new wedges look absolutely fantastic as they always do from Mizuno. So loads of tech to talk about. We're going to go through that. We're going to hit it off some turf, some different lofts I've got in the bag. So we're going to maybe see how it feels off the club face and how the ball sort of reacts from the greens. Okay, so first shot, I'm going to hit first instincts of the wedge and I can't resist it. I'm going to have to pull out this denim copper finish. This is one I'm really sort of drawn to. It's a fantastic finish, finish and I think this will be quite a popular one uh, for many golfers. So 58 degree, I've only got about a, a sort of 50 yard little pitch into this uh, first green here at uh, Appleby. You know, first instincts, as we always look at with a wedge down by the golf ball, and for me, wedges are always quite a personal thing, aren't they? The way they sort of shape of the head, the way they sort of sit, for me, the looks are really, really important. And then probably secondary to that is then how it sort of feels and maybe how it sort of performs. Always quite fussy on a wedge. And when I say that is how that leading edge sort of flows into the front of that hose. And that's really, really nice. I mean, it's just a slight elevation forward from that leading hosel, but not very rounded. I don't like it too rounded. It's quite a squat blade, which is good. Not too bulbous and round in that toe section, just quite sort of straightish lines. Let's see how this copper one feels. Oh, and that's really nipped. Touch firm, but that's pulled up great. Okay, so let's have a little go in the bunker. So I've got the 54 degree. This is the raw finish here, which I quite like. It's, it's sort of dulled out. Obviously, um, I've only had this off a couple of weeks with the wrapper, so it's just starting to sort of uh, age in a way or start to rust. It's going to obviously get a little bit darker. So it's a personal choice, I think, on the raw. It tends to be very, very popular on tour. You know, that non sort of shine or, or glare, you know, when you played in the sun. I've got the 54 degree, this is an eight bounce and it's a D grind. So I've got a little bit of heel and toe relief, a little bit of that trail edge relief on this as well. So there's not a huge amount of bounce for a, for a sand iron really, an eight degree. I would typically like a little bit more. So I've got about a, about a 30, uh, maybe a sort of 20 yard sort of bunker shot here. Let's see how it feels out of the sand. Yeah, that's lovely. Just released out a little bit on that down slope there, but came out really nice. It's quite fluffy this sand here at Appleby. So even though I've only got an eight degree bounce, again, I would prefer a little bit more bounce there, but that still got through and out of that sand quite nicely. So I'm just gonna have to take a minute here and just uh, absorb this sort of uh, background we've got here. It's absolutely stunning here at Appleby. I mean, just check that out. Middle of October and it's beautiful. So these T22 wedges, we've now got three uh, different finishes, four different grinds and a load of different loft options. Probably the most offering of lofts, probably from any brand I would say. So there's something there for you in your wedge make makeup. So I'd like you to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts or tell me what's in your bag wedge-wise. How many wedges do you carry and what lofts? And maybe the reason as to why you choose those lofts that you do. Okay, so not a bad drive there off the third. Left myself about 72 yards. I've just uh, zapped that out. Uh, flag's sort of a little bit elevated towards the back of the green here, just on a sort of little bit of a top layer. So I need to be sort of quite aggressive on this one. So I'm going to hit in a sort of knockdown sort of 54 just to try and get it sort of up there. Don't really want to force it and get this in coming in too sort of aerial, maybe that 58. Hopefully it should just have a little bit of one hop and a skip and a little pull. This feels superb off the club face. Yeah, and that's right up there, that's a good shot. Okay, so in and around the green, a little bit of a tight lie, slightly downhill, bunker to go over and all the way downhill to that flag. Tricky little shot. As I say, it's bare, so I'm just gonna take my 58 degree. Now, unfortunately, this is the C grind. I could probably do with the, probably more of the X grind here, which is if you're playing on that course that maybe has that firmer conditions, a lot of tight lies around the green, maybe the X, which has got the extreme sort of, sh sort of relief on that heel and toe and that back edge, less bounce there. We'll probably just get that leaner to set a little bit tighter, but we'll give this one a go. Wow, 
Wow, that is really fast down there. The greens are super here at Appleby at the moment. I played that really quite, I thought I played that really well. It's just rolled on release. It's not bad to be honest, but it did feel quite nice just getting under that ball, even though with that C grind, definitely felt like I just got underneath that quite easily there. So as I mentioned earlier, plenty of tech to talk about the T22. Let's jump and have a little talk about what's involved in these wedges. As always, we see that grain flow forged HD processor, 1025 carbon. So it's a forged head and that's available in all these three finishes. So we've got the, the raw, then the copper or the denim copper as they're calling it, and then also the classic chrome finish. So three finishes to choose from, there's four different grinds. So quickly going through the grinds, we've got the S grind, which is more of the, for the golf with more of the fuller shot there, a little bit more of a, a, a sort of square sole in a way, a tiny bit of trail relief, but that is literally it. And then next is the D grind, which just has, starts to have that little bit of um, trail relief, heel and toe relief, subtle there. So if you're somebody who wants to just start manipulating face a little bit, then that, that grind would suit those sort of players. And then moving into the C grind, where basically that, that relief on the heel and toe comes a little bit more aggressive. Maybe for the golfer, a little bit more of a skilled golfer, again, who wants to be opening the face and maybe playing off those firmer ground conditions where they want that leading edge to sit a little bit tighter to the ground. And then, of course, the final one, the X, which is the X extreme sort of grind so again even more uh, relief off that heel toe back edge maybe for that real um, artistic short game play is what actually Mazzino was saying there somebody who's going to really open it up play a very variety of different golf shots off really sort of variety of lies mainly maybe possibly mainly those really tight lies you'll see a little bit less bounce on those particular grinds so looking back at Mizuno's really successful wedges look at the t7 was an amazing wedge a very traditional sort of wedge small compact head maybe not a lot of technology in that particular wedge but a great looking wedge and still a wedge that is used by many uh, of the Mizuno Tour players actually on tour. You then look at the T20 wedge, which was then packed with a bit of technology. The head was a little bit bigger. Obviously, we saw a lot of that bulbous sort of top top edge in a way where they're moving way up the up the head which obviously pulls CG up helps which massively helps with the performance of the wedge but obviously maybe just had a little sacrifice of the actual look of the wedge itself so for me and I think Mazzino also saying this is the T22 is a blend of those two wedges going back to that more compact head that little bit more of those straighter lines not quite as bulbous um, it's it's less visible on that back of the uh, club but we've still got the technology so it's blending a bit of that traditional with a lot of technology uh, to get the performance out of these wedges and it's interesting how they've come up with these three um, different sort of finishes here now so we've got you know through the actual process of the making it comes out in a raw format and that is then obviously one option so there's no plating on that it comes out in its raw format it's going to rust it's going to weather as you can see with this one i've got here this has been out of the wrapper maybe a week or so had a little bit of play but not a lot and you can see it starting to to rust and weather already you then go into the next layering process which we saw in the mp20 uh, range where we had that underlay that mizuno called it that layers of feel so it had the copper and this is what we've got here now so copper but this is like a denim copper so they put an ion sort of coating on it because copper in its raw form is quite bright so they didn't want that bright finish on it so the ion sort of uh, denim finish on it in a way just deadens that um, that brightness but gives you obviously that feel of that copper so great sort of feeling wedge and then finally as we saw on the mp20 line it was then plated with um, chrome and that is then also an option so more of a traditional uh, chrome finish which i really really love it's that traditional wedge isn't it you pick up a wedge of the old days that sort of um satin finish uh, it's, it's not quite as white satin now but it's it's beautiful i mean it just looks absolutely stunning there some polished bits on the back but then when you put it into that plain position obviously the grooves a little bit more dulled out satin finish a little bit of polished heel and heel and toe but great looking wedge and finally you know talking about grooves we can't you know look at a wedge without talking about the grooves so we've got the quad cut grooves which mizuno have done uh, in the past so very sort of precise on the depth and the size of these grooves uh, through the different lofts and also with them, we've got the Hydroflow micro grooves, which is basically like just trying to help disperse that moisture. So maybe trying to retain spin when it's damp and they've got moisture between, uh, obviously on the golf ball, potentially on that grass between club face and golf ball, just tries to sort of disperse that water, maintain that spin as much as possible. Okay, so 95 yards. Let's see how these react spin-wise on the green.
Hello, my mate. Just have a little meander. So there we go, Mizuno T22 wedges. I think really three finishes there to suit your eye appearance. They all feel really good off the club face. As we know with it and expect from Mizuno, that grain flow, forging of the head, we've got the copper um, sort of layering on there. Even with the chrome, that copper is obviously underneath as well. So they feel fantastic. For me, they look great. They perform good. I mean, there's no real bad wedges on the market now, is there? You know, look at how the ball spins. They all generate a lot of spin, don't they, on the golf ball. So there's nothing there that really surprises me or, or stands out with the spin and the connection, but they just feel good off the face. They feel confident you can play the shots that you'd want to sort of play. And that's really the key when you're choosing wedges. You know, you, I think that's where the look element as I started at the beginning of the video, you know, the look is the first important thing for me and then how it feels and how it sort of performs is, is probably secondary, to be honest, because if it looks good, I can visualize a shot I want to play. If you know it sits right on the ground, I can confident I can get the connection that I'd want to play and then play the shot I'm actually visualizing. So for me, the looks are really important. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. T22, is that something that you would want to go and try? What wedges have you got in the bag at the moment? As I mentioned earlier, what lofts are you using as well? I'd love to hear your thoughts as to why you're putting those in the bag and also what brand of wedges you are using. Appreciate the watching the video as always. There's another video just up there, so you can go and click that and have a little uh, watch of that one. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.